Well, back garden of eating followers. Opening day of Georgia dove season. I'm out here in the cornfield, just waiting and sweating. So, got my gun loaded. Got my new vest on sale. So here we go. Happy Thursday, Garden of Eaton followers. Hope it's treating you well. So the last few afternoons have been spent dove hunting and it's been productive. So this is the first chance I've gotten to actually fillet my dove out. So we're gonna take you through some of the things I do before I put them in the freezer. So enjoy. So here's the bounty of dove brass that I've collected over the past two days. They've been cleaned and defeathered, but I don't put them directly into the freezer like some people do. I like to let them sit on a paper towel and drain in the refrigerator overnight, 24 hours if possible, because draining soaks up some of the excess blood and moisture from the breasts and that can kind of throw off flavors and recipes and I spent a lot of time to get these things so I want the cleanest dove breasts I can get and here's what we got here the flame and yawn of the sky this is what a clean dove breast looks like after you've plucked all the feathers off of it uh, a lot of hunters endure 100 degree temps for just that little piece of meat right there uh, there's the left side and the right side and down the middle runs the breastbone uh, you could take this and put it in the freezer as is, or eat it right off the bone, nothing wrong with that, but I spend a lot of my time and sweat to get this thing, so I like to be meticulous and run a knife down each side of it and just get that little piece of meat right there. So to each their own of what knife you want to use for dove filleting purposes, but my personal pick is my 4 inch fillet knife here from Rapala. I use this when I trout fish and it works great getting rid of little bones, works just as well for small game like dove. I like it because it's got a rubber grip for when my hands get wet, I won't slice my hand off. A uh, shorter blade and a really sharp pointed tip uh, kind of reduces the risk of injury and damage to the actual meat and gives me a little bit more finesse. Okay, take your knife, take a dove breast. Remember that line that ran down the middle just like that, the breastbone? You're gonna take your knife and get as close to that line as possible and just run it right down the center. Do that, just like that. And we'll do it on the other side too. There's two sides to a dove breast. Get as close to that bone as you can possibly get because that's that saves the meat. And once you got one side kind of peeled away, then you run your knife on the other side of that line, just like the first. And Peel that little section back just a little bit like that. Okay, once you've got your two slits down the side like that, some people just continue to peel it off with a knife and you can do that. I like to take my thumb and just kind of work it away from the bone and just kind of peel it back just like that. And that's what you're looking for, just that. Just that little piece right there. Do that on the other side. Like that, and then there you go. Two pieces of dove ready to be wrapped in bacon. And that's what you got in the end. So here's an easy five step progression line that I came up with. So we got your whole dove breast right here. It's cleaned, ready to start. And you got your knife here run it down each sides of the dove breast just like that to release the meat and you work each side of the meat off with your thumb just like that peel that off that is what a dove bone looks like pretty thin but it can get in the way when you're eating and then got your final product right here so easy five steps 